Hello fish keepers. So today we're going to be talking about pet snails. How you get them, how you get rid of them, if you want to. So the first topic, how you get them. The most common way of getting pet snails is from plants. Although the other ways you can get them from fish fruit. Now, why would you want to get rid of them? Most people want to get rid of them because they look ugly. Another reason is because after reading about them and stuff like that, the internet talks about how they eat the plants. And honestly, not entirely true. Snails are what they call detrivores, which, mean, which means they eat the debris that can be found in a tank, like plants that are dying back, also fish food, algae, and food that might be on the bottom of the tank. If you're finding a ton of snails, that probably means that there's a lot of fish poop, algae, decaying plants, stuff like that. Now, some of the best ways to get rid of them. General maintenance is a big key. Just by doing gravel vax, scraping the algae, and will reduce the food that the snails can eat, which will naturally kill them. Another way to get rid of them is by getting a fish, like a dwarf chain loach, a yo-yo loach, or clown loach. But you gotta be careful with the yo-yo loach and clown loaches, because they can get pretty big. Also, another trick is to get a pea puffer. Now you can only keep pea puffers one to every five gallons, is what I suggest. Now, after I found six of them in my 55 gallon tank, I decided to manually remove them, haven't seen any more since then, and put them in a one gallon tank. Which, what I didn't expect is after a week of feeding them, I found 15 bunches of eggs. Now, I decided to do this because I will be getting a fish soon that eats the snails. Now, little type of contest, I guess. Let's see who can guess. Sorry, let's see who can guess the type of fish that I will be getting. Little heads up. Only gets about an inch big. It's going in a three-gallon fish tank. Fish tank has some scaping. I'm waiting for some plants. Has a sand bottom. And right now it has a piece of bamboo growing out of it, which that's not really important. But that fish will be coming in the next week or two, acclimating it, seeing how it does, and then get that video out. But overall, my suggestion is if you're thinking of even getting a snail that will, or a fish that will eat the snails, I suggest keep the snails for the food for the fish. All right. Don't forget to comment below your guesses, hit that subscribe button, show, show how much you support the channel by smashing that like button, and enjoy the rest of your day.